Let's share our panel's uh, ideal batting orders with whose lineup is it anyway? Anthony, you start us off. Well, I mean, I'm glad we talked about Glaber there because I got him as my leadoff hitter for the Yankees because I, I, I looked this up earlier and he was second among Yankee regulars last year in on-base percentage behind only Aaron Judge. So I like him right in front of Juan Soto and Aaron Judge. There's plenty of RBI opportunities there for those guys. And then I have another controversial, maybe not controversial, <laughs> but another one that may raise an eyebrow. Giancarlo Stanton, fifth. Uh, you know, I know there are a lot of people who are down on Stanton, even the newly slim Stanton, but I feel like uh, with the, the resume there, he deserves the respect of hitting a, at a midpoint in the lineup, uh, even though the results were not midpoint in the lineup last year, which I'm sure he's well aware of. And, uh, you know, but I think there's, there's a lot of right left uh, alternating there because that's a big boon thing. Uh, you know, you don't want to get locked in and have two lefties back to back because then they can bring in their lefty specialist and blah, blah, blah. So so I tried to get a nice mix in there, but uh, Glaber's starting things off, and then the big boys, boom. Uh, you want to? I did the right-left thing as well for my lineup, um, and I just think you had Glaber up on top. I like DJ LeMahieu up on top uh, for mine, just because you know this is a stable veteran presence. I know he hasn't hit like he has in past years, but I do like that. Then you go Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, and then I have Giancarlo Stanton all the way down seventh. I like the fact that Verdugo gets on base and having a player like that that does not necessarily strike out a lot like Verdugo and then having someone hit, uh, someone who can hit like Stan, who can hit these monster shots, uh, I think that could be a really well-balanced lineup. Uh, and then, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll see where that goes in terms of where Stanton can move. Like, he's never been a guy to hit for average, but he certainly is not a guy who will, I think, hit 190 for the rest of his career.